हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू क्वाइंट्स ऐप माई सेल्फ विग्नेश फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक्स फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मी इन दिस वीडियो सो एज यू माइट नो लाइक क्वाइंट्स ऐप हैज़ अप्रॉक्सीमेटली सेवेंटी टू एटी टूल्स सो एज इफ यू हैवन डाउनलोडेड क्वाइंट्स ऐप एप्लीकेशन येट काइंडली डाउनलोड इट एट द अर्लीस्ट बिकॉज एज सुन एज यू डाउनलोड यू विल बी गेटिंग एक्सेस टू ट्वेंटी फाइव फ्री टूल्स यू कैन एक्सप्लोर दोज फ्री टूल्स एंड एज यू नो वी हैव सेवेंटी टू एटी टूल्स 25 फाइव आर फ्री टूल्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट देर आर एन नंबर ऑफ पेड टूल्स एज वेल सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट पेड टूल्स वॉट यू कैन डू इज जस्ट लॉग इन टू द एप्लीकेशन एंड एज सुन एज यू लॉग इन जस्ट क्लिक इन टू लर्न सेक्शन अंडर सेल्फ लर्निंग क्लिक ऑन वीडियो लाइब्ररी ओके सो वॉट इज वीडियो लाइब्ररी वीडियो लाइब्ररी कंसिस्ट ऑफ एन नंबर ऑफ वीडियोज इफ यू सी ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द वीडियोज ऑफ क्वेंट्स ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द टूल्स ऑफ क्वेंट्स एप आर कवर्ड इन मल्टीपल लैंग्वेजेस the languages that we have covered are english hindi marathi and tamil so you can definitely go and check the language as per your convenience and you can uh, view all the videos okay so let's get into today's topic then okay so as you might have seen in the thumbnail today's topic is about option buyer versus option seller okay so usually if you see in the market uh, if you talk about the strike rate okay so as you might be knowing option sellers are the ones who usually end up making money as compared to option buyer the success rate of option sellers is usually somewhere around we can say 70 to 75% as compared to option buyers correct because option buyer success rate is very uh, you can say very low correct because when it comes to option buying what we exactly need is we need a proper direction and that to we are supposed to we are actually Uh, you can say we have to time the market correct because if we don't time the market and say uh, say for example i am expecting a movement in say july month and yes the expectation is correct the movement comes but say for example the movement came in august month okay then what's the point in uh, being a option buyer i will lose the entire premium that i have paid so it is quite challenging for a option buyer to time the market as well as you can say picking the right stock wherein the momentum is coming whereas uh, in case of option seller if you see uh, usually what a option seller seeks for usually what an option seller wants is he usually expects the market to stay range bound okay so most of the time if we see uh, say when it comes to weekly expiry usually the market won't give you uh like exorbitant movements correct the market is usually range bound say 400 to 500 points on the upside 400 to 500 points on the downside so usually what an option writer does is he just goes and check out the uh, highest call writers and highest put writers and accordingly he just places a sell order at that level and a sell order of put on the bottom and he expects the market to oscillate between these levels but where when it comes to option buyer he needs a he seeks for a significant momentum correct so how can a option buyer uh, like how can he improve his trading success okay so because as you know for option writing the capital that you need is exorbitant as compared to option buyer correct so usually most of the retailers are option buyers correct because due to you can say lack of capital we can say usually most of the people go for option buying so is there any tool which will help me to say Uh, optimize my trading strategies like if i want to be an option buyer is there any tool which will help me to filter out the stocks wherein i can seek for momentum so yes quantsap has an tool okay so let's talk about that tool first let me click on track and under options oi if you check that is triggers okay so how triggers will help you okay so this is basically an intraday tool i would say and this is uh, uh, specifically for option buyers okay and this tool is for intraday however you can carry the position for say max to max one or two days based on this okay so let me first explain you the interface okay so give me a second so what is triggers okay so triggers is basically it will give you automatic support and resistance based on oi based on open interest okay so can you see search symbol so like suppose you want to take a trade in reliance or you want to take a trade in hdfc or icsi whichever stock okay you can just go and check out whichever stock you want now expiry okay if you are st trading stock specific you have monthly expiry if you are trading in index you can go and uh, select the expiry as per your convenience now on the left hand side we have 
highest calls and on the right hand side we have highest puts okay now see this the future price so this middle column consists of almost all the scripts all the fno scripts i can say approximately 187 fno scripts so you can just scroll and check out all the scripts over here okay now on the left hand side if you see there is strike okay so what is this strike this strike is basically it says the resistance level you can say or you can say at this level the call writers are active okay so for rt industries 750 we can consider it as a resistance okay now there is call difference okay so what is call difference call difference is basically how far the stock is from its resistance level okay say rt industries is trading at 747 the resistance is at 750 so in percentage term it is 0.34 okay now oi is self explanatory correct so for rt industries at 750 strike 9 lakh 83000 contracts are opened i can say correct now on the right hand side again you can see strike so as the left hand side strike column indicates you resistance the right hand side strike indicates support so for rt industries as of now we can say the support level or you can say the highest put writers are at 700 what is put difference again 747 is the current price 700 is the support so in percentage terms how far the stock is from its support level that is 6.35% oi is again self explanatory at 700 strike 3 lakh 30000 contracts are opened as of now okay so this is the interface now how can a option buyer optimize his you can say trading strategy optimize his strategy using this tool okay so as soon as you open this what you are supposed to do is just click on call difference once and sort out the stocks okay so see and find out those stocks wherein the call difference is between 0 to 1% okay so here if i see check out crompton check out tata consumer persistent indigo escorts all these stocks i can see the call difference is between 0 to 1 so what is my condition the call difference should be between 0 to 1 the first condition the call difference should be between 0 to 1 so these are the counters wherein the condition is getting fulfilled okay so now what does it mean if the call difference is between 0 to 1% that means the stock is very much close to its resistance correct if the stock is close to its resistance what are the probabilities what can happen either the stock might break out or the stock might break down from there correct so give me a second okay let's say this is the resistance and this is the support okay and say the stock is moving like this and the stock is near to its highest call writers level or the resistance level now there are two possibilities either it might break out or it might break down so being an option buyer being an option buyer what i need i need direction correct because if i get direct and suppose if i am near to the expiry and if i get direction because as soon as like suppose you are near to the expiry theta you can say will be against you if you are an option buyer but at the same time if you get direction gamma is positive uh, when the uh, expiry is nearby correct so if you are trading near expiry or even if you are trading far expiry for option buyer it is mandatory that you should get direction if you won't get direction then it is pointless correct so say for example the stock might either break out or break down now i can easily figure out the stocks which are near to its resistance how would i know whether the stock is going to break out or break down correct give me a second so let's say crompton tata consumer these are the stocks which are very much close to its resistance now correct now check out this column which is which talks about change in oi correct so what does this change in oi says say for example crompton is trading at 449 the resistance is 450 now along with this condition of 0 to 1% call difference one more thing which i want to check out is change in oi if the change in oi is negative that means call writers are unwinding their positions if the call writers unwind their positions what we can expect we can expect a significant move on the upside correct because being an option buyer what you need you need a direction correct so how you can get the direction 
you are simply supposed to find out those stocks where the call difference is between 0 to 1 that means the stock is close to its resistance and allow if the stock is close to its resistance and at that resistance level if you see the call writers unwinding their positions then you can expect a good move on the upside correct now you check out tata consumers it is trading at 1199 okay now at 1200 level there is a resistance but instead of unwinding i can see significant addition in call writing 187 percent contracts have been added correct so this is a clear indication that we can't seek momentum in Tata consumers because 1200 level is a very strong resistance, correct? So it is pointless despite Tata consumer is crossing 1200, it is pointless if you go and take a directional trade in Tata consumer, okay? If the unwinding starts, then you can, but unless and until you don't get the unwinding, you are not supposed to go and place any trade, correct? Now, how this tool is handy for you? Say you are getting automatic resistance level and also whether the writers are unwinding or not. So you can see everything at one click, correct? So if you're an option buyer, say if you're an intraday option buyer or you are say a swing trading, like you prefer a swing trading, like you buy today and say you are willing to carry the position for the next one or two days, then this is an ideal tool for you wherein you can simply filter out the stocks using these conditions. And if you see unwinding simultaneously, then you can go and initiate a directional trade. Correct. Now let us go and check out on the put side. Say for example, you are willing to take a trade on the bearish side. Simply click on the put difference and again filter out the stocks wherein the difference, put difference is between 0 to 1 percent. Now if the put difference is between 0 to 1 percent, what does it mean? The stock is trading near to its support levels, correct? So again, there is a two, there are two possibilities. Either the stock is, uh, stock will bounce from the support level or it might break its support and it might go further down, correct? So how would I know whether the stock is going to break its support and it will go down? Again, the game changer is change in OI, correct? So if the put writers are unwinding their position, that means the support is getting weaker and weaker and we can expect a further downside. Now let us check out ICICI Bank. Current market price is 1203, support level is 1200 and check out 4.96% contracts have been unwinded at 1200 level. So as soon as ICICI Bank breaks 1200 and say sustains below it, you can expect a decent downside on this counter. Okay, so this was, I would say, uh, an ideal tool for an option buyer, say an intraday option buyer, or you can say uh, a swing trader, like say one or two days if you want to use, you can definitely go and explore this tool. Now, what an option writer seeks. Okay, usually what an option writer wants. An option writer wants say the market to stay sideways. So there are two possibilities. Like what you can do is what usually option writers do. Let me explain you. They usually go to this, like say open interest. Okay. Usually the option writer and say, I want to check out any stock. Okay. Say for example, randomly I'm taking Bata India. The current price is 1586. Where is the highest call writing scene? See at 1600 levels the call writers are present. Now, what is the strongest support on the downside is 1500 for 29th August expert. So usually the option writers will go and sell 1600 call and they will go and sell 1500 put and they will expect the market to stay between them. But when it comes to option writer, see checking out the open interest is okay. It is uh, a part and parcel, I would say, but there are n number of factors which you are supposed to consider apart from this open interest. Like what if the IV shoots up? If the IV shoots up, usually if the market is bound to stay at this level and if the IV shoots up, the range gets broader. Okay, and you can expect more momentum in the market. Correct, so there are n number of factors which you are supposed to consider. So it is manually not possible to consider everything and uh, decide a proper strike wherein I can execute my sell positions. Correct, so let me go to trading and under quant models, see option writer. Correct. So what this option writer offers you is, say for example, you want to execute a sell position in Bata India. Okay, I have randomly selected Bata India. Now, instead of using my own brains, what I would do is I have asked the system to tell me which strike is ideal to sell. So the system is telling me that you can sell 1640 call, you can sell 1540 
put. Okay, so see here, it has given you a range. See, for exp let me explain you the interface first, so it will be very much clear. Give me a second. <clears throat> Check this. Script is Bata India. Expiry is 29th August by default. And days to expiry, there are 30 days remaining. Correct. And you can place like how many days you are willing to hold this position accordingly it will give you a range and it will uh, accordingly give you a strangle like which strangle would be better to sell okay now here there is a range indicator option okay so let me explain you about this range indicator see there are bollinger range z score okay z score you can say straddle range iv range so highest oi call or put just now we checked correct so but I would suggest you to go with this default Quantsap indicator because it combines all these things. See, Z-score is basically, you can say, we uh, find it based on standard deviations, correct? And Bollinger Bands is like, you might be knowing the Bollinger range, correct? So based on that range, it will give you. So it is Quantsap indicator, I would say, use the default one. It is a better version, I would say, okay? So see, for example, now I am willing to hold my sell position in Bata India for say 15 days or say 14 days okay so it is giving me a broader range of 1680 to 1480 and based on that it is asking me to sell 1640 call and 1480 put now let me reduce the days to say 8 days i want to execute it for 8 days or say 10 days okay so again it is giving me the same range approximately let me hold it till expiry okay <coughs> say for example I am holding it till expiry. Okay, so again it is giving me a range of say 325 points. You can check the range over here. Your range see 1740 on the upper side and 1415 on the lower side. So based on this, it will automatically give you which strangle to sell. So again the same 1640 and 1460. Now whether I can execute this or not. Okay, so there is a parameter based on which you can decide. Now check out this. Writing attractiveness. Correct. So see here if the signal is green, you can go with what is being shown there. If it is moderate, it's slightly risky. If it is risky, then it is risky. Correct. So uh, here if you see the overall signal is yellow, that is it is moderate. If you are willing to go with it, you can go but usually ideally I would suggest you to go only when the overall signal gives you a green indication else it's better if you avoid okay so let us go and check out say a state bank of India let's check out state bank of India <clears throat> SBIN Okay, so say for example, I'm willing to hold for 11 or again, I'm getting yellow signal. So this is also not an ideal scenario. Correct. Let us go and check SBI cards then. So I want to hold it for 10. Here it is completely showing me yellow signals and red signal so even this is not an ideal stock you can say for selling now how you can go and select the stocks wherein you can execute sell see go to selector okay so here just check out this column the last column which is trend okay so usually what an option writer seeks for he seeks for oscillating stocks like he doesn't want a trend a strong or a mild trend he doesn't expect correct so you can accordingly go and check out see oscillating 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 so the stocks which are oscillating you can definitely filter out and you can uh, take these stocks and you can just plot it in the option writer and if the writer gives you a green signal you can definitely go with it correct so let us go and check it out in the nifty now okay let us go and check out in nifty Let's say I am changing my expiry to 8th August. Okay. Let's say 1st August. See, now there are two days left for the expiry. Correct. So on 1st August, 
I have selected, I want to hold the sell position for the next two days. So based on that, it is asking me to sell this, correct? 25,350 call on the upset and 24,550 put on the downside. So accordingly, if you go and change the expiry, the range will get broader. Okay. So now it is not giving me any green signal. So I won't go and buy. Let me go and check out the final monthly expiry. Again, no green signal. Correct. So I won't go and execute any sell positions as of now. Correct. Because see here the target profit is I would say 224 rupees and here the stop loss is 738. So the risk reward is not matching. If the risk reward is not matching, it won't give you a green signal. Correct. So if I go and check out each and every stock, the video will get longer and longer. What you can do is you can go and check out any stock, whichever you want. Let us go and check out one more stock. Okay. Let us go and check ICICI Bank. ICICI Bank. Okay. Let's say I want to hold it for 7. It is giving me red. Again red. Say 2 days also red. 15, 20, 27, 30. So here also. So as of now we can say even if you see the overall trend in the market is bullish. Correct. So as of now, if you go and check out any heavyweight stocks, it is not giving me a green signal. Why it is not giving me a green signal? Because the overall trend in the market is bullish. And for an option writer, what an option writer wants? An option writer seeks for a sideways market, correct? Because if you go and check out State Bank of India, ICICI Bank, Reliance or anything, these are heavyweights. If the if these stocks keeps on moving, even the Nifty will keep on moving. Correct. So uh, when the heavyweights and when the Nifty is on the upside, it is the overall environment is not meant for option selling. So that's why it is not allowing me. It is not giving me a green signal to execute. Okay. Say for example, let's talk about how to execute the trade. Say for example, I want to sell this and I want to execute. What you can do is you can just click on this execute. You can see this is the automatic profit alert stop loss alert if you want to modify you can just modify this numbers okay and if you just save see notification will be on mobile and telegram okay if you have uh, downloaded telegram you will get it in the telegram and if you have the mobile application you will get the notification as soon as the profit number comes to 447 it will give you an alert you can go and square off your position accordingly even for the stop loss correct so here you can click on analyze and it will give you the levels see on 31st July at 9.15 a.m. If ICICI Bank opens at 1161 or say if it is trading at 1161, this will be the profit or loss. Okay. So see, here you can go and check out at which level, at which time, what will be the PNL scenario accordingly. Okay. So I hope this was a tool for option writers like uh, instead of going and checking out the range manually using OI, you can use this tool which will automatically give you a range wherein you can execute your positions and if the overall signal is green, then you are good to go with it. There are approximately 187 FNO scripts. Definitely in many scripts, you will be getting green signals. Okay. But uh, I don't have the time to go and check out each and every stock as the video will go on. Correct. So you can definitely go and try out this option writer tool. This is a very effective tool for option writers and for option buyers. Just now we checked out triggers, which helps you to gain a decent returns on intraday as well as for say one or two days. If you carry the position, you can still end up making good money using triggers. Okay. So I hope you would have definitely enjoyed this video. So try and like this video, share, subscribe and comment. Okay. So we'll see you soon in the next video. Okay. Thanks you. Thank you everyone for your valuable time.